Hi, everybody. My name's Tracy. I'm so glad you could be here today. Uh, I've been wanting to do videos for a long time. I am the family life director. I take care of youth and family ministries here at Christ UMC. I'm not gonna lie, I was really nervous about doing this, I, maybe even a little afraid. I've been talking about doing this for a long time and I just needed to do it. Um, and it, it's interesting, that's kind of what we're talking about today, being afraid. Uh, we're gonna be doing a series of videos out of this book, 365 Devotions for Kids. Um, and it's by the Hands-On Bible. Uh, there's some amazing stuff. But today we're talking about things that we're afraid of. Um, are you guys, some of the things you're afraid of. Uh, I know I've got family members who are afraid of spiders, maybe other little things that crawl along the ground. Uh, there was a movie a long time ago, it was called The Birds and made people afraid of the birds flying by. Super creepy. Um, right now, uh, the wind is blowing like crazy and I know a lot of people are afraid of storms. There's so many things that make us afraid. Um, I know uh, when I was younger, I was always kind of afraid to take tests. I was worried about not doing well, but I think what was even worse is I was more afraid that I had to tell my mom I didn't do well on the test. There's lots of people that have to go to the doctor's office and you're afraid of what the doctor is going to tell you. Uh, there's lots of things that we're afraid of and we could list a whole bunch of them, you know, but we don't have time in, that, in this video for that. But one of the things that I read in, in this devotional that I thought was kind of cool, says, do not be afraid. Uh, and I fiddle with my hands a lot. I don't know about you. Uh, sometimes I like kind of pick at my fingernails and you just kind of fidget when you're nervous and afraid. And I liked what it said. It said, take your fingers, take both hands. Do not be afraid. That afraid is using two syllables on that end. Do not be afraid. Now there's lots of places you can put your hands, you know, when you're sitting in the doctor's office or sitting at a test or in the classroom, you're not necessarily gonna do this. You kind of look like the evil guy. <laughs> That's not what we're gonna do. Um, your hand could maybe lay on your leg and you press down, do not be afraid. Or maybe it's sitting on your desktop or you know, your laptop or wherever your hands might be afraid, maybe sitting. And you can say it in your head, do not be afraid as you're moving those fingers. And it's a way to, for us to keep repeating those words to ourselves because we get kind of caught up in that moment. Um, I like today's scripture. Uh, this one I had, be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged for the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. I like that word courageous because when you look up at the definition of courage, the ability to do something that frightens you. You know, you think when somebody's courageous and they're strong, they're not afraid, but they are. It's doing it even though you are afraid. And it's going out there, maybe it's facing, you know, the mean kid on at the reset, at recess, or the mean kid on the bus. There's always mean kids somewhere. Maybe it's to those adults out there, the mean guy at the office or mean lady. Men and women, they all can be mean. But do not be afraid. Get those hands out there. Do not be afraid. Because there's lots of things to be scared of out in this world. But we don't wanna stop that. We don't want it to stop us from doing things. So I ask you to take that opportunity to think about that. Do not be afraid. And use that, you know? At some point, you can roll it into a prayer. And prayer is an amazing thing. Sometimes we're so caught up in our fear that we don't think about doing that. So go out there, be strong and courageous. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for being with me so I can face my fears. Teach me to be courageous even though I'm afraid. Help me to know that you are always with me. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you in our next video.